everybody wants to see new team out, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do one normie-ish run before we try to do team melting. Um just because I would actually like, if possible, uh, to, to get the slightest bit of momentum. Um, and, and we'll see. So one, one thing I've been trying to do is like, hey, look at this, Blue Baby. Blue Baby does not have an alt path victory. Blue Baby does not have a true ending victory. There's a seed in case you are interested. And there's Rune Bag, the, the best item I've ever seen. NL, please give me the pogs to get through this work day. I'm, I'm happy to be your second monitor, Marty. I'm happy to be, um, you know, blasting through the AirPods when you got your phone in your pocket. However you, you like to consume the content, I'm, I'm happy to be there. I regret coming into this room, though. I do. Come on. Don't, don't say I'm on monitor one. Like, that's a lot of pressure, quite honestly. Anybody else have, like, a, a poop bias in this game? Like, the poop that is on the ground has the same chance to pay out as the poop that you drop. But the poop that you drop, you drop it. Which makes it, oh, come on. That much more valuable. Like, in my head, I'm like, it's worth more. Okay, check this out, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not afraid to, to play risky at the start of the game. Because, you know, like, at the start of the game, there's a very low barrier to entry. If you die, you die. Nobody cares. It's not like we got a, a you know, seven-digit streak or whatever going on here. We're not sweating it. Yeah, live fast, die young, bad girls, do it well. My chain hits my chest when I'm banging on the stereo. Great song. I, dude, I don't know. If we were talking about, like, M.I.A.'s best song... So, I forget the name of the first album. I'm just going to be honest, as a suburban kid with a biblical name, uh, first album went a little hard for me, you know? It was a little bit... It was confrontational. I didn't know how to take it. It was like listening to Dizzy Rascal. I, I, it was a little bit um, too much for me. But then, uh, the second album, Kala, I believe it's called, so many incredible bops on it. It's, it's uh, unbelievable. Paper Planes, of course, took off in a huge way. But then, you know, Boys is a good song. Um, is, there, is there a song called Jimmy on that, or am I losing my mind? That uses, like, an ABBA sample? That's a great song, man. It's, I haven't listened to it since 2007, but it's a great song. Okay, Tears Up. You'll love to see it. Oh, it's me? Um, you know what? That is hung up by Madonna, but that's also Jimmy. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do alt path because I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. It's not a tears up, it's just tears, the size is higher. The size is larger. Hmm, saved. Dude, this library could save the whole run. It feels like my tears are better. And honestly, like, that's a buff. To feel better about your run, Alges, Awas, Nima Rune. Um, to feel better about your run is a, is a buff. Okay, if we could just fly and get that uh, Book of Revelations, we're fine. Just fly, get Book of Revelations, can of corn. Can of corn, baby. I will pop out of safety. I do see that we are now, we, we have some potentiality here. NL, how are you feeling about repentance overall right now? Uh, extremely positive. Every day that I stream repentance, I feel more positive about repentance. I think that it, it my, my fervor toward it has grown over time. It just gets better. Hey, Farticus, thanks for the gifted subs. Thank you. Everybody in the YouTube comments was laughing. Derek, you sinny uh, About how I every time I read your name, I, I can't stop myself from chuckling. Derek, you. Derek, you. Derek, you. 
Might as well get Book of Virtues too. Hey, why don't, why don't you uh, get into my game as if this was the YTV television show reboot, and then why don't you just give me a key? You know, if you got a if you got a key, you're interested in in giving me, I would love to take it off your hands. We are not going to look at the deal with the devil because the, then we'll get a deal with the angel in the future as a result. Derek, you, Derek, you. I'm sorry, did I miss the sponsored air fryer bit of the day? It's not sponsored. Um, I, just, I just like to recommend good products as opposed to most people who like to recommend bad anime. You know, I, I consider uh, myself a bit of a consumer advocate. And as a result, I am above reproach and criticism. So how about you sit yourself? Okay, we have no key. We could go to the curse room. Hmm. Okay. So because we, we are unable to get... Curse of, or uh, we're, we're Curse of the Lockless, like track one, side one, on the Shin's album Shoots to an Arrow. Um, we have to go in here, see what we get. I was gonna AWAS out, but just when I thought I was out, they sucked me back in. So check this out. We're actually gonna create the opportunity for a planetarium, because we're gonna get Bookworm, and we're going to have Book of Virtues and the Book of Revelations stick together here. Now we're talking. You know what? I could bomb into the item room, potentially. Let's take a look. No, we can't. Wait, yes, we... No, it's over here. Okay, maybe I placed it wrong. I don't think so. We're going down to the next floor. Ascended strategy. Thank you, chat. Oh, baby. Sip of the spark mouth. Oh, the superior sparkling water brand. Anyway, moving on. I'm not actually mad. But the more I talk about it, the more my my face gets hot and I, I feel like a certain tension in my solar plexus. Is that what anger is? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, spark mouth is so good. Glad glad to hear the fellow patrician in chat. You can buy it at uh, Canadian grocery stores or London Drugs, the pharmacy, or at well.ca if you're a Canadian uh, consumer. It's delicious, I can't recommend it enough. I will note, buyer beware, it does come with a slightly more premium price tag, but that's the price you pay sometimes to buy local. I, I had to make a choice, man. Uh, instead of supporting the Pepsi-Cola uh, multinational corporation. That's a really good get. We got super lucky there. Sparkmouth has the best lime. I'm very glad uh, to hear that because uh, I have not uh, had the lime yet. I'm, you know, the other thing I really like about Sparkmouth, they sell uh, variety packs. Instead of buying a 12 pack of the same flavor, you can get a, a four flavored variety pack that has three of each. All the limes, I loaded them first, so they're sitting at the back of my fridge. I'm excited. Farticus, thank you as well. Thank you. Plus, it has a cool name. Yeah, Sparkmouth. Awas. You know, the rune's so nice, they gave it to us twice. Planetarium, please. I have indeed replaced the headphone cord. Thank you for asking. I did. I, I had some time uh, yesterday, and I, it, you know, it took four seconds. I think I also, like, we're doing, like, the, the headphones of Theseus here. So I actually think, like, the jack is a little bit messed up as well. So I think, I don't know, I'm going to try to buy, like, a replacement jack. But then I also, I'm like, at that point, I don't know, maybe I should have just bought, like, a whole replacement headset or something like that. But I imagine the, the most expensive part of the headset is the, the actual headset itself, you know, not the... Uh, not the the little cables that are like interchangeable and you know you could buy them at Radio Shack if it still existed for like 10 cents each. Derek you. Derek you. Get some Sennheisers? That's a good idea. I might consider it.
speed up, angel deal, prayer card, which is actually not very good, but at least we do get a free wisp. And then we should have saved a bomb, but I didn't say a bomb. Save a bomb. I got so freaked out. Hold on. Why are you slow? Why was he slow? I don't understand. Yeah, I could just buy a bomb or something. Oh, that's a good idea. We could just do a bait tweet for it. Well, I don't know. I don't want to replace these. I actually like these a lot. But, uh... If I... Maybe... Could, could I place a bait tweet to maybe get, like, Circuit City or AliExpress to send me a new 35 millimeter jack? <laughs> hey, anybody know uh, a good company that sells 35 millimeter uh, jacks for audio cables? Just asking. Go ahead, slide into the DMs. Can you follow us? We just want to talk. Sears? Oh, man. Now we're talking. One of my favorite stores to shop in. There's so much space for activities because there's no customers. Hi, O. Circuit City went out of business a decade ago. Um, but they're just what I needed. Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Thank you. This super small business called Amazon. Uh, I've never heard of it. Are they related to the company that does Blue Horizons? Lee's Electronics on Fraser Street. Now that is a specific recommendation. Derek, you. If you look closely at Sears logo, it looks a little sus. You know, I don't even want to like um, explore that just to because I don't know where it's possibly going to lead us. It can't be anything good. Uh, but you know what bothers me about Sears? Like, they're probably, like, sweating it. I mean, they're, like, bankrupt or whatever. But they're probably really mad because they used to be called the Sears Roebuck Corporation. And then they got rid of the Roebuck. Because they're like, oh, I don't know, it sounds too old-timey or something like that. But now, if they still had that in their name, they'd be crushing it. Because people would think that it's related to Roblox. So all sorts of, like, middle schoolers would come in there and be like, you know, they, they could even sell gift cards or something like that. Like, they could have, they could have done really well. They just, they, you know, it's a bad timing. It was a black swan event. I will say I was at the, the post office, and, you know, the post office uh, is connected to uh, a, not a department store. Anyway, it's connected to a retail outlet. Um... The retail outlet sells gift cards, so I was looking at them while I was waiting in line, and uh, they had Xbox Live gift cards. No joke. They had uh, the branding on them was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I'm pretty sure came out in 2014. <laughs> Okay, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. I will not be hit here. And it was like, the, the stack was full. It was like, it wasn't like they just had a couple of extra advanced warfare ones. Like, literally, there were like eight or nine in the, in the area. And they were all just, you know, hanging out there. And the ones, oh, I do see that tinted rock, but we need to save our bombs for now. Just, just chill for a sec. Um... Don't forget the, the family jewels. Um, the the most... The, the, and it's hard to tell, right? Because maybe they recently restocked. However, the most empty gift certificate or gift card that was there was uh, Roblox, for sure. Like, the Roblox one only had one thing sticking in it. And the Fortnite uh, one had, like, two or three. I'm not sweating that tinted rock right now, honestly. Yes, tinted rock. Correct, yes. You're not wrong. That's smart money, baby. We need the bombs. Yeah, you got it. You got it all figured out. 
I used to work at Toys R Us, and we uh, sold out of Roblox cards all the time. I remember what it was like to not be 18 and thus not have a credit card. And have to rely on... I mean, even like the gift card industry really only kind of came up after I became a, an adult age, I suppose. But uh, to always have to run like by... Because I had my mom's credit card hooked up to Xbox Live. To always have to like run it by her. That was like, hey mom, I'm going to spend like 10 bucks on Xbox Live if that's cool with you. And then... Uh, She'd be like, what's it for? And you had to be like, they remade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1989 from the arcade and put it on Xbox Live Arcade for $10. I'd really like to buy the play with my friends. So embarrassing, man. It was before microtransactions really hit, though. Mom, they released a new Paris map for Project Gotham Racing 2. No, my mom almost always said yes to that kind of stuff. But I do have to say, like, I know how this, this looks like it's very self-aggrandizing. But I really didn't ask very often. Like, even as a child, I was not, like... The desire to purchase things was, was very low. I very rarely found myself being like, oh, I need to buy, like, horse armor or whatever. That's good. Now we're... A, a real rune. Finally. Some real freaking runes. Oh, you don't know horse armor? <laughs> Kids these days. Now that's a callback. Did not take damage. We need we need some extra support here, um, like an item that is uh, it helps us do more damage. In particular, would be very nice. I, was, I believe, to the best of my knowledge, horse armor was the first micro transaction. It's the first micro transaction that I remember. Let's put it that way. That was not simply like more content, like like more maps, an expansion pack, etc., etc. Now, Bethesda got uh, roasted for it for sure. What they should have done is simply release uh, loot boxes that gave you a chance to get something, including horse armor, and then people would have been like, "Pog, it's like you know." Virtual trading cards. They wouldn't have said Pog. They would have been like, Epic! What an epic idea, Bethesda. Like a boss. You're, yeah, I was gonna say, there's an enemy in there. I, I'm starting to remember these rooms. I guess we should have Perthrowed. Yeah, Perthrow, we should still go back and Perthrow. What am I talking about here? What am I talking about? Um, I don't know. Is this any good? <laughs> Dude, people, I, I'm here to tell you, gamers, you gotta relax on Team Cherry, okay? Stop, stop bugging them about Silk Song. All right, they'll get to it when they get to it. Like, just freaking chill out. Oh my God, it's like. I get it, you, you want to play more Hollow Knight, but just relax, man, like, it's like, just a few people making the game, probably reading that stuff on social media, like, trying to figure out a way to pivot into the banking industry as quickly as possible once the game's actually done. Just chill out, man. Okay, I'm gonna blank rune first. That's Awaz, my, my best, best rune, best friend, best rune. I don't know. It's it. It looks cool. You gotta admit, it looks cool as heck, man. I'm just saying, you know. I I would love to say don't annoy any developers, but like, I mean, 
I don't know if I could uh, stand by that. I mean, I think in principle you shouldn't. But there is, in my opinion, there's a little bit of a difference between like, hey man, like, can I have a wafer thin piece of news on Elden Ring versus like, You know, seven uh, contracted workers are trying to make like a DLC to one of the most, or not DLC, a sequel to like one of the most uh, surprise breakout indie gaming hits of all time. And if it's anything that's less than 11 out of 10, people are going to lose their mind. Like, more curse rooms, I say no. Spirit Heart, I say yes. I gotta say, Red Candle might be sick as well, but like, I think I need more HP. I think Book of Revelations is the right thing to take. Star Citizen Waiting Room. Dude, it is... I was thinking about that when I was watching uh, Dan play Zomboid today. Zomboid has been in development for so long, and I want to preface this by saying it's gotten better, right? Like, I, the, the game has gotten better, people love it. Um, However, it's been in development for so long, I literally uh, played it for the first time when I still lived in Korea, which is absurd. And then, Star Citizen is like just a year younger than that or something like that. It's crazy. And at least like, <laughs> yeah, you can... Dude, I don't. I want to know like what Dan's Star Citizen uh, hanger looks like. I'm not knocking him. I think he would be the first person to crack a joke about it, to be honest. But I do. I wonder if I. I would say 95% chance his Star Citizen hanger is worth in the four figures. I think that there's a a chance anti-pog. I think that there's a chance it could be in the five figures. And even that, as crazy as that is, that's not that bad. Cause there are people that have like six figure Star Citizen accounts. Which is just staggering. But I don't know, man. Like, what's the rate of return on those? Could could you leave them to your kids, like in your in your last will and testimony? Okay, well, whatever. Thanks for the speed boost. It is a better investment than a car, no question there. On the other hand, you also can't use your Star Citizen spaceship to drive you to work. <laughs> so I don't know. It's <laughs> depends what you're what you're in for, I guess. <laughs> Da, 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 da. No, I honestly, like, I mean, if you contributed to their Kickstarter, whatever, right? Like, I contributed to a couple Kickstarters. We were part of a naive generation. That I honestly think, like, I don't want to say, like, we couldn't have known better. But, like, when Kickstarter came out, it was brand new. Everybody was just, like, you know, the the, the conventional wisdom was, like, game developers... You know, they want, they have the ability to make the greatest games of all time. It's just those, those nasty publishers are stopping them from making a game that's like Super Metroid, but better, right? Um, and then, you know, you, you back a few and then it comes out and you're like, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's like, I mean, it's mostly just like, it's not, you know, you promised me that this would be the even better than Civilization VI and it's kind of like just a nice little time waster. Nowadays, I think people are much more, like, deservedly skeptical about crowdfunding. Or at least, let's not say skeptical necessarily, but, like, realistic. Like, I, I honestly don't think I would ever back a Kickstarter now. I don't know what, I mean, like, even if it was, like, this game won't get made, if it's, if you don't give us... I, look, okay, let me put it this way. If literally they pitched something on me that was, like... And I have contributed to some in the past, for sure. Like, yeah, I contributed to Four Souls, um, which turned out great. But I've, there's also a couple of games that even, like, 
I I I'm I don't know. I feel weird about it because like there there are some Kickstarter games where like I played the game to kind of like just to play it, but also like to promote the campaign. Like the developer would send me access to like the demo build, and then I would play it on my YouTube channel because it looked cool. And then some people would be like, you know, hey, I love the video and I backed it. And then, you know, that was eight years ago and the game still hasn't come out. And I'm like, you know, it's not really my fault, but I feel like I kind of contributed to the <laughs> to the engine. It's not really a scam either. Like, you know, I'm sure the developer thought that, hey, this will probably be like really easy. And then it's, uh, you know, seven years later and people are like, have you thought about adding like a 3D version? And they're like, sure, let's do it. And there's some good ones for sure. Some some great stuff's come out by a Kickstarter. I think the FTL Advanced Edition was a Kickstarter thing, but anyway, I'm just I don't know. If if you created a situation where it was like literally your ten dollar contribution will decide whether or not the game gets funded, I would fund a lot, no doubt. The flip side, uh, excuse me, Angel Deal, please. I have no idea how that'll work, but I, I don't really want to mess with what I got going on here, to be honest with you. The flip side of that, though, is like... If something's like a few thousand dollars away, and they're like, well, if you signal boost this, then it might get made. I'm like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like that's... It's not really my... Uh, it's not. Re I don't, I don't want to get all Spider-Man 1, but I'm like, uh, you know... I miss the part where that's my problem. But it's like, I don't know, man. It's, it's not my responsibility. What about an anti-Kickstarter where you could give them money to stop them from making something? Now we're talking. It's an interesting idea. Like, I, so Daniel and chat saying, I, uh, I only reported uh, on Kickstarters that had already crossed their funding goal. That seems like a good way of getting around it, for sure. I think we're good. Dead at dead. Dead at dead. Let's do it. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're, I think we're okay. <clears throat> I'd love to see a new game from the FTL, guys. Yo, you might... I didn't go to the alt path. Okay, we'll go true. We, at least we still have true ending. We still have true ending. Okay. My bad. <laughs> I even spent the HP. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what I was going to say before I got the uh, cyber bullied for being stupid. Uh, that's right. You got to uh, gotta drop a trinket, man. But we can't drop a trinket because we're already here. You can do it here? Okay, we can do it here. We can do it here. All right, all right, all right. So we'll do, do we have to do it on the boss fight or do we do it on the on the default room? Do it on the default room. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. This is fine. Not fine. You have to do it on the boss fight. It's, I, or in the item room. Okay, in the item room. I can do that. I can do that. You can't just leave it in a default room. What I was going to say, though, is if you haven't um, played Into the Breach, it's the second game from the FTL team, uh, and it's extremely great. And I, I would, it was well-loved at release, but I would still say it's, like, a little underrated. You don't hear people, like, talking about it in the same reverential way that you hear them talking about... Uh, about FTL. I think it's a, a, an unbelievably good game. And don't get me wrong, FTL is great. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Kickstarter. It's kind of like, I don't know, like... It, it, it's hard to put yourself like back in the mindset we were in back in like 2014. Indie games were like still pretty much brand new. And the quality of the ones that came out and got pressed was by and large like, you know, like they were all classics. 
Braid, Limbo, Super Meat Boy, you know, like... For a while, it was basically like, now that these developers have been freed from, you know, the, the economic chains of a publisher, like, they can truly make these classics. And then, like, you know, in the, in the intervening few years, the average quality has dipped as more people have gotten into it. I don't mean that in, like, a negative way. But, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of garbage that comes out. There's a lot of amazing games that come out as well. Um, I think people are more... Oh, dude. Apollo Raid, thank you. Dude, Apollo, you'd love this part of the raid, uh, this part of the stream. We're talking negatively about video games. Hello, Apollo chat. I've been spying on you via uh, Apollo's unban requests. Any, anyway, so I was just talking about how I will never support a Kickstarter again. <laughs> and have not for many years, but... Um, okay, thank you. Thank you for the 9 volts. Let's donate a bunch as well. Leave your trinket behind in the item room. That's right, thank you. I didn't forget, I was just trying to make you feel like I forgot. Saved. And I got you. I can't believe you are so got. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and then we still need... Oh, I can't fly, that's right. Well, you know what? Let's go back and buy that spirit heart. Derek, you. Derek, you. Star Citizen is like a whole... That's a whole thing, man. The game's raised like... Like $400 million or something like that? There's the Tinted Skull. And it's still... I don't even know if it's like any closer to coming out. It was like a meme in... 2016. Okay, we need the card. I remember I, I watched because Dan was watching and reacting to like Citizen Con one year. Not Citizen Kane. That's a totally different thing. Citizen Con is actually much better. Um, it's the Star Citizen Convention. And uh, who. You expected that like one day. It would be like, you know, hey, we're going to stop adding new stuff to the game. And instead, we're just going to like get to work on like a release date. But that was not what happened. Instead, they were like, hey, guess what? We're, we're changing the game so that you can have like a track IR. You know, something that like uh, it, it basically can track your facial movements and then... When you talk over VoIP, your character's face will exactly mimic the movements that you're making with your mouth in real life. And I was just like, bro, come on. Like, that's, that's, don't get me wrong, kind of incredible and, and immersive. But at the same time, like, you got to come out with this game at some point, man. And then they did, like, a, a demo where, like, they, they took off from, like, the... A, a, a port, a spaceport. Okay, maybe we should like focus a little bit. Uh, they took off from a spaceport and then like went into outer space, went into light speed, and then tried to land on another planet. And then when they landed on the other planet, the game just crashed. And I was like, bro, like, I mean, I guess like maybe it's like a game as a service where like. We're fine. We just take we take the Polaroid because we're blue baby. We leave. Unlucky. Yeah, that, that didn't happen in the in the pre-beta build. And then we have to go back to the item room now, or on the mausoleum. No, later. All oh, right, because we go to the mausoleum and then we go. Okay, now I recall. Thank you. Thank you. Now, dude, I gotta tell you, I'm not. I'm not, like, really sold on the golden rocks. One bomb for a little bit of money. Maybe there's, like, a, a cool payout there, but... Anyway, long story short, like... Don't believe the hype, I guess. But I, I do feel like I'm, I end up being, like, contrapositions versus a lot of the gaming industry. Like, my hype is at a maximum most of the time when I'm, like, playing a game. And, uh, my hype is at a minimum when I see, like, a pre-rendered trailer of it at, uh, at E3. I'm 
wait until they come out with Tetris 100. Oh, baby. So these are pretty good, but are they as good as pressing the spacebar? Unknown. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not like other gamers. I'm a cool gamer. Name a gamer. Spacebar undefeated. Something, something been real quiet since the spacebar just dropped. Apollo, I don't know if you're here, by the way. But I, I, I noticed you've been playing a little bit more Repentance. Might, might be getting a little into it, maybe. Might, might be starting to feel like uh, once bitten, twice shy. Excuse me. Do you have any friends that work in the gaming industry? Um, I have, I have, I have maybe like a friend or two I would consider to, uh, someone that I would consider to be a friend that works on the indie side. I have some acquaintances that that work on indie and AAA. But I, I wouldn't like consider myself a source on like how things really are in the gaming industry. I just, uh... Well, I guess, yeah, it depends what you mean. David Miyazaki is a, uh... Is a close friend of mine, uh, and, and of course he works in the... He works in the games industry, but... On the marketing side as opposed to the... The development side. Actually, you know, yeah, I guess I got multiple friends that work on the indie side, but... Um... I wouldn't, you know, I, I don't consider myself like a source. All I have is like, you know, my experience having been around it for a while. I mean, I have, I've been around it for like a decade now, which is like embarrassing to say. But I do, I find myself oftentimes being like, I, I feel like I have the opposite opinion of a lot of other people in the industry. Like, I even while we were talking about this, I saw someone say, like, you know, well, you can't trust, like, the gaming industry because it's trash. And I was like, man, like, I'm in the exact opposite boat. I'm like, I don't believe hype at all, but I think the gaming industry is kind of amazing. Just, you know, they're, they're making toys, and then they're, you know, sometimes selling them at a bit of a markup. But I don't, I don't you know, I think that's just the, the system we're in. I mean, but then again, I've, I've also said, like, you know, <laughs> after watching Chib's Crazy Time stream, I now understand uh, that gambling addiction is, like, a, a real thing and not merely something I intellectually know exists. Uh, so I guess, like, I don't feel as comfortable as I used to feel being like, hey, if you don't like microtransactions, like, don't buy them. Because now I'm like, okay, I understand. I guess what I'm saying is if you like gotcha games, why not just go to, like, a real casino? Because at least, like, if you win, you win something real instead of, uh, something, uh, fictional. <laughs> Sorry, but at the same time, you know what I mean? Real casinos don't have cute anime ladies. They're gonna, one of these days, they're gonna figure that out. And then a lot of people are gonna lose their life savings. Like I was just gonna say, I've never, I've never been in like a, a pachinko parlor. But do they have that? Uh, they have cute anime waifus like at the uh, pachinko parlor. They don't yet. They do. Okay. Oh, don't, don't remind me of the maid cafe, man. Yeah, remind me to go to all item rooms. I just, I'm not gonna risk anything. We're going to every single one of these. <laughs> I still I, I can't believe I've been talking about crazy time for like two days, but um, I mean it was a remarkable piece of entertainment. All credit to Chib there, but uh, okay, next floor, next floor. Um, I was stunned that like on this online casino, there were a decent amount of people playing crazy time, but crazy time is like a real production. 
They have a set. They have camera operators. They have uh, props. You know, they, and they've got a real, like, a, a cast of actors or dealers, however you want to describe them or whatever. Oh, there it is. It was under my items. I got so scared. Um, but then also, like, on the casino, there was a lot of, like, um, games that were literally just, like, Tomb of the Pharaohs. And then when you boot it up, it's like a 1994, like, 386 kind of graphics that are just going like... And you're just like, really? People are... I mean, there's not, there's no overhead associated with that website at all. It's crazy. Okay. If you vibe hard enough, the, the feelings can't get to you. Like, again, that's, oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I felt the tilt coming on. The people were like, funny joke, but can you focus on the game for a second? Okay, I got out of it. I got out of it. I, I felt the I, I felt the emotion rise inside of me, and I swallowed it, and I, I mentioned it, and then we're moving on. Um, hey, really entertaining and all, but I don't come here to be entertained. I come here to get the dopamine that comes from a, a victory in-game. Okay, here we go. Now that we've made one snippy comment about it, we can move on. But, it, I mean, like, if that... What the heck is this guy? If that doesn't have you believing that, like, gambling addiction is a real thing, that people are literally like, I will use the absolute, like, most boring game of all time as a vessel to create good feelings, like, that's kind of crazy, right? I mean, literally, it just looks like Super Nintendo graphics, like, spinning five different reels, and you're like, Pog, like, I got six Osiruses. At least Crazy Time had, like, a... There was, like, a fake social element to it as well. That's why I'm, like, I, I'm surprised Crazy Time has not swallowed more people's lives. No, I've been to Vegas a few times. I really don't... I mean, I... Again, I, I talked about it even yesterday, so I apologize, but... I, uh... I, I wouldn't say, like, I'm immune to the positive feelings from gambling, but, like, I don't feel the pull at all. Like, when I, when I see someone eating Doritos, I'm like, man, I could really go for some Doritos. When I see someone that's, like, on a slot machine or something like that, I'm like... I just... I don't know. I, I, if anything, I just want to remove myself from the casino as soon as possible. F Doritos? Dude, you know what I did have? Um, saved. You know what I did have is, uh, at the same time that I bought that Spark Mouth, um, Sparkling Water, the Superior Sparkling Water brand, I bought Paki, is that what it's called? Very spicy chili lime tortilla chips, and they were, they were delicious. Not Takis, it's P-A-Q-U-I. Not Takis. Paki. Oh, they make the one chip challenge. I didn't know. I was eating them and I was like, you know what? These are genuinely like not so spicy as to be like intolerable. I mean, I heard the one chip challenge is obviously designed to be really bad. But I didn't do that. Um, but uh, actually like more spicy than you would expect like a, a snack to, to be. One chip challenge? Nobody's ever succeeded? Watch merely one chip stream? Can't be done. Can't be done. You know what we can do now that I think about it? On... Is it... What, what level is this? Downpour one? If we go to the library and we have a full charge, we might be able to suck up all those books that we left behind and create more... Uh, more wisps than have ever existed in humanity before. Excuse me, sir. You should be dead. You, you you can't have this much HP. Does the library stay? I don't know. I will assuage chat, and I will go down to the uh, 
the item room here. I'm gonna do it. The only thing is, if the item room is empty because I already picked it up, you owe me a million dollars. What the heck? Fair enough. <laughs> I don't want to suck it up, though. Because Golden Teleporter is going to screw us. So I'm just going to take this and hope it works well with Static Tears. Yes and no. Oh, because we didn't get to go to this item room because of... Uh, yeah, because of the planetarium. Oh, it gives you miniature Isaacs when you get hit. That's right. That's right. No, thank you. Rip ye. Thank you for the gifted subscription as well. Thank you. I did just use... Um... Oh, the library didn't stay anyway. I did use my charge, which I shouldn't have done. But yeah, thank you. Rip G. Dude, anyone here from Vancouver? I know that, like, we've, we've talked about this in the past. But uh, there was another viral video from Vancouver today of a white BMW driving uh, on the pedestrian path of the seawall. Did you see this? I was laughing. It was so good. And then, like, so basically, the seawall is, like, this really nice... It, it's right on the edge of the water, and it goes throughout, like, the whole city. Um, there's a, a bike path, there's a walking path, you know, jogging path sort of thing. Um, and it's very clearly marked. Again, there's, like, you know, I, uh, pictures of human beings and pictures of bicycles and stuff like that. Um, but I was, I've been talking about it. I talk about it with Corey a lot, about how... Like, every once in a while, you'll just see, like, a car somehow find its way onto either the bike path or the pedestrian path. And people are like, I don't believe you. I'm go watch the video. I think it's number one on our Vancouver right now. And you can also see that most people that are just walking by are not even that concerned. They're just like, this is something that happens maybe once every six months. And I see it. But I was laughing because in the Reddit thread, there's, like... Uh, there's a little bit of apologia. There's people that are like... Like, one guy I saw was like... Okay, so he shouldn't have gone onto the pedestrian path, but like, in his defense... Why is it so hard to get off of the pedestrian path once you're on it? And people are like... Uh, cause it's... You're not supposed to get on it in the first place. If they made more spots to get off of it... It would be easier for people to accidentally get onto it. Like, it's, it's, it's just hilarious. So people are like, honestly, like, a lot of people are like, haha, this guy should have his driver's license taken away, which I kind of agree with, because he, he is literally driving into, like, you know, a crowd of people, um, and almost reversed into a guy a couple of times. But uh, the other thing is, like, there are some people in there that are like, man, must be nice to be a Redditor and never make a mistake. And you're like, well, I mean, I've made mistakes while driving, don't get me wrong, but I've never accidentally, you know, taken a wrong turn and ended up, uh, you know, on the pedestrian path. That's not, like, that's even worse than going the wrong way on the road. It's like... Because you're a casual. Confirmed? Confirmed casual? Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, why not? Look at that. Look at that. Scale of 1 to 10, how easy is it to accidentally get onto that path? The soil has been unlocked. Um, I mean, how easy is it to do? If you, if you wanted to do it, it's like probably a 2 out of 10. You would have to make one turn that's like a little tight. We're chilling. To do it accidentally? I mean, I I don't know. I think I, I can't really answer how hard it is to do. What I can answer is how easy it is to avoid, and the answer is very easy. Like, I, I, I know this is kind of like a recurring topic of conversation, but like, I see people turn into the bike lane all the time accidentally, and I'm like, bro, it's pretty easy to avoid finding yourself in the bike lane. Here's the thing. A, it's 
like narrower than the width of your car and then secondarily it's the lane with a bike painted on the ground if if your if your car is a bike you can go in there but didn't you wonder why they were like you know <laughs> no other cars there but lots of cars six inches away from it i don't know i did dude i it's kind of like my anxiety nightmare, but I, I do have to admit that I was kind of loving how people were punking the guy in the car. Like, I get it, he made a mistake. But the fact that, like, people were crowding the driver's side window and, like, taking his photo and stuff like that, I was like, yeah, get him. Deserved. Done, okay. I thought we got more spirit arts there. Uh, there, there go my familiar. Oh, every time, every time, man. I will say, I saw Slim Dirty Dizzy. I saw you talking about in Seattle. There's cars like in the bus only lane. I must admit, like. I think when I'm in Seattle, I'm driving properly. But there are times where like the lane says bus only. It's it's painted like, you know, red or whatever. But I'm like, I gotta turn right, so I just get in the lane and turn right. Is it, that's this that must be what you're supposed to do, right? Like I can't imagine they're like, nah, turn right from the center lane. Or is it literally like, sorry, you just can't turn right there? You can turn okay, saved, saved. And then the other thing is, every time I'm in Washington, I have to, like, go through the exact same thought process every time, which is, is this a place where you can turn on right or a place where you can't turn on right? And I, I still do not know. Usually, I just hang out at the red light until uh, I'm going to die for certain. I hang out at the, at the red light. Yeah, yeah, sorry, on red, on red. Um... I hang out at the red light until somebody behind me honks. If they honk, I'm like, all right, I can turn. My bad, sorry. It wasn't that I don't know how to drive. I was just like looking at my phone or something. It's nothing embarrassing. Um, and if they don't honk, I'm like, thank God I didn't turn. I could have broken the law and be thrown into American prison. Most places you can. Like, America, I mean, I'm not going to say it's weird. It's just, like, you know, it's different. I've told this story before, but, like, when we were in Portland at a Magic the Gathering tournament, this was a long time ago at a different point in my life, um, we had to get gas before we drove back to Vancouver. And, uh, like, I, I went to the gas station, and I was about to get out of my driver's side. And then this guy who looked like Axl Rose came up and, like, knocked on my window really loudly. And I was like, what the heck's going on? And then I was I didn't even roll down the window. I just went like, yes. And then he was like, can I help you? And I was like, you knocked. And he was like, what kind of gas do you want? And then it quickly dawned on me that this is one of the parts of the world that has other people pump your gas for you. I guess Oregon is a is a full service gasoline state. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have a chance maybe. Oh no, we got one more here. Oh, in Oregon, they, they've they've made ah, frickin' <laughs> they've made self service a thing now. Okay, all right. I mean, full service is stupid, but you know it. I'm just being honest. If it helps the economy then so be it. Like, every time I'm in Japan, they've always got, like, a bunch of senior citizens standing on insanely busy roads with those, like, click counters. And I'm like, bro, they make sensors that could do that in, like, 10 seconds for a dollar. Um, but at the same time, you know, if, if it keeps the, uh, if it keeps the economy rolling, then so be it. Anyway. Slash marker. Um, we lost, but we unlocked new blue baby.